Facts. Facts. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, yes can't 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 Hello, my name's Martin. Hi, my name's Trish. Hi, I'm Alistair. Hi, I'm Anissa. Hey everybody, Giuseppe here. Hey everyone, my name's Laura. And we're here to review some queer memes. Oh, I don't know anything about queer memes. I'm expecting to laugh a lot and of course I would love to learn and educate myself. I don't have any expectations. <laughs> Absolutely, I go with the flow. I love a bit of improv. I'm, I'm a big fan of the homophobic dog, which is, uh, I think it's a dachshund that's owned by two lesbians and it's just a bunch of memes which are like hilarious. What do you think? Was. What did I think a meme was? <sighs> Dude, um, um, uh, 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 no, <laughs> no, no idea. I'm sorry, no, idea. no. We're gonna find out today. <laughs> so, like, clap and gaze then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite true, yeah, it is true, yeah. Yeah, I feel like the media really presents uh, at the forefront, you know, very thin, white men. I just think it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> if you just do it during the Pride Month, then that's just marketing is not a lie shit. We need a bit more of support, and that support could be like thick instead of thin. Yes, can't can can slay me. I think I think they go over the top with proving how much they're an ally, but they do it in the the wrong way. Sexual like females and it's like gay guys, and it was like, oh my god, hey! So like their whole demeanor changes. Same reaction. <laughs> I would be like, <laughs> and it's also them saying like, I can tell you're gay. Exactly. Like, I know you, you want to be an ally, but at the same time, it's like quite disrespectful <laughs> for, for you to be, you know, overdoing it. It's not all about RuPaul and Drag Race. <laughs> There's more to it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, this feels like an attack. Having a haircut associated to just that. It's a bit harsh. Let me, just, worried. let me just move my hair out the way. Let me just change it up a bit. Wait a minute, let's go back to the old days, the 80s, all right? <laughs> Everybody in the 80s, we all had mullets, mate. Oh, okay. And I used, to, yeah. I, I used to play for the local football team with my mullet. Oh, wow, look at that. They know lesbian, so it's not like super short. Mm -hmm. It's not gay, like super long. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like in, in the between. middle of bisexual. Like, yeah, yeah, so it's exactly. like, you know, <laughs> shoulders length. And I'm like, that's such a statement. I agree. Ah, yeah, I, like that I agree. I like that If you. I could have an excuse to dress as a pirate or like a yeah. lady, obviously I'm dressing as a pirate. It can't just be just them two. Do you know what I mean? In that mm. sense of mask and femme. I agree with the statement of Kira Knightley being the awakening, but. Nah, not with this meme. <laughs> not with this <laughs> meme. No way. Oh. Facts. <laughs> Facts. I'm not going to lie. Oh my God. There's seven pound cocktails. Exactly. I'm, giving, I'm funding somebody. Yes, from experience. <laughs> uh, we talked about fag hags, aren't we? The, the amount of times I've spent money in Freedom Bar, in heaven, in GIY. Nah, sorry. Run my money back. <laughs> Run the money back, guys! It was just the image of these older women that you always get in gay bars. That was the first thing. I oh, thought. I didn't know. Sorry. No, it's me. interesting <laughs> how we've got we've seen different things. Yeah, that the that's the beauty of like the inclusivity of the LGBTQAI plus community. I don't really go to a gay bar. Oh, it's. So I'm always in the DIY store. Uh, we need to take that at the DIY store. You, you need to night out with me. Right, we have so much fun getting we so high, so can much. Can I bring my girlfriend? Y yeah, bring your girlfriend, yeah, why not? Oh my okay. god! <laughs> I'll drink you under the table just to let you know. Yeah, mate, it adds done, don't you? Oh, like, <laughs> really? It's like going to the pub and then, oh, just trying to get with the lads and really truly, it's like. Just be yourself. <laughs> I would obviously prefer to interact with queer people, uh, or gender yeah. non-confirming people, or trans people. Um, it's just a lot more comfortable. You know, they're not going to say anything out of pocket. You know, they're yeah. not going to make you feel uncomfortable in a certain way. So I find that really interesting how that's been brought into it. I'm not telling you who I am because otherwise you subconsciously kind of feeling you prejudge pre me. So yeah, pre why would I say, hello, I'm Giuseppe and I'm gay? Mm -hmm. No, you find out yourself. Why would you know what I do in my bed? Like, I don't really change that much, you know, so I don't sort of like go, yeah, you know. Yeah, be that's just weird. All yeah. mannish because I'm a man, man today, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, that's just what, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I do get this, you don't look gay. Kids in my, in my obviously in my era or in my generation, yeah, they would yeah. think gay as being very highly camp, very feminine. I've got children and I have been married. They don't understand because I identify as asexual, but it was okay. because of that process, um, you know, going in and out of abusive relationships and everything else, 
Um, it helped me figure out who I was and everything else. So when people know that I've got children, well, you can't be asexual. You obviously had sex to have children. Duh, yeah, of course. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that it was something that I wanted to do. You don't understand my history. And mm -hmm. You don't understand, you know, the, the dynamics of that. But why should you look gay? Why well, you have to look a certain because way? Because people are still expecting you to look gay. It's That's sort of, yeah, fact. to them it's sort of putting you in a box. My mum, she's Filipino and she sometimes mis mixes up the pronouns. Um, so there's a few times I'll be in public and my mum will be talking to someone and they'll be like, yeah, he did this. And I'm like, <laughs> Thanks, I'm looking mom. at them and, like, mm, and they're looking at me and I'm like, no, 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 it's not what you think. No. I'm like, oh, well, whatever. And then she goes back to she and then they look at me again and I'm like, <laughs> It's always it's, me. It's just my mum. Okay. <laughs> those are not my pronouns. I've been called that a few times. I'm like, those are not my pronouns. It's so weird, I know. Those are my pronouns. What is going on? I get misgendered every single minute of the day. Don't you find it annoying, though? Well, I'm very rowdy, so I tend to... Mm. Oh. Literally, I'm so, I'm so rowdy. I'm sorry, but I'm getting to a stage where I'm 21st century now. Hello, so what does that mean? Da so, Daddy, I refer to more a sexual sort of term. So, basically, I'm 26 now. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, it's, it's very relatable. Um, we don't talk about ages here. Yeah, we, we, we yeah, yeah, I'm always the, the wisest of the room, mm -hmm. let's put it that way. Mm -hmm, yeah. But then, when these little kids, I like, you know, they're just smashing in my face, what's the truth? And I'm like, how dare you? No one asks you. <laughs> like. I would call Idris Elba daddy. He's got that, like, he's got that like, presence. Ah, now then. Like, Idris Elba, like, so, um, who, who else? Someone, um, someone like um, um, Leonardo DiCaprio, Johnny Depp. Joanna. Yeah. Oh. Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. That's what the straight be doing. <laughs> the amount of times where I've like watched a show with someone, like, I think they're gay. That person's gay. <laughs> and I remember I was watching this show, Atypical, and I was like, oh, this character's kind of fruity. And then like the person I was watching was like, no, they're not. Not everything has to be gay. <laughs> Season two came out and they were but I was like, I knew it. Sex education, I was just really shocked to, you know, like they're, they're introducing, you know, the gays and, you know, just our community in, in general. And I was just like, wow, this is very interesting. They were even explaining and then how to, like douche <laughs> at oh, one really? point. Heart stoppers. Mm -hmm. I so into that guys because available for everybody there is like a TV show with teenagers. Yeah. I was hoping that Connor was gay in real life. Right. And he is because he's just like I so relate to him because he looks like normal, like you like to say. But yeah, and this normal is just finally out of order mm -hmm. because yes it looks like it's a straight sort of but like probably binary. it's not a straight yeah. i really enjoyed it actually i really enjoyed this like uh, meme shit it was really good yeah i didn't get much of it at all my you still rocked it thanks a lot for watching we hope you enjoyed the video and of course in the comment below you can tell us what your favorite meme was make sure to like and subscribe for more future content yes